Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm in the woods and I'm in a woodland. You, if you've seen my one of my previous videos, you'll probably know where I am by now. I'm in a woodland I used to hang out as a kid and while coming back to reminisce, I did actually find a shelter. A shelter which I've kind of like uh, christened as the witch's hut or house or cabin. Uh, take your pick. The weather, well, we've got winds, but they're not strong. Um, it's enough just to rustle the leaves and a few twigs but we do have rain and the rain is predicted to be quite heavy i'm okay on that front i don't have to build a shelter because this here is waterproof i know that because the ground is bone dry i don't know what wildlife i'm going to be sharing that with so i'm a bit concerned about that but in any case um I've, i'm cooking on a fire so i've got to set myself up some kind of shelter or somewhere i can cook and administer myself so I'm going to get everything together, start making this happen before I lose too much light. It won't be around for long. Um, it's a bit gloomy in here already. So yeah, without further ado, ado I'm going to make my way over there and start making this camp happen. Right then guys, I believe I've got camp set up. It was a pretty quick one. Um, I can't actually get as close to the um, cabin as I want. Uh, quite simply or I could but it would mean a lot lot of um, cutting and preparing shafts to get my tarp up so I've just gone for a very quick setup like that and it's on a reasonable area I can sit cook and enjoy the evening I will try and spend some time back here at the, the cabin but I do have major concern you know fire risk concerns because I'm going to be using a lantern I'll see how it pans out I could use torches but um, I want to sit by a fire this evening so I'm not too far away over there but uh, that's where I will be sleeping and I'll try and spend a bit of time there I'll sit I'm going to ping pong backwards and forwards between both um, areas I can't use the area that they've uh, got set up here because it's quite open and like I said, I'd have to start manufacturing stuff for my tarp. And I don't want to do that. It's not my area. So I'm over here, out the way. I'll just have, yeah, you have a quick little look. So here is, is a basic uh, tarp set up, basically just a roof. Those uh, loops in this cheap tarp are really good. They really lock onto that rope. So you don't have to put toggles in. This is where I'm going to have my fire. And yes, I've got a new stove or a fire um, hobo stove because quite simply my other one burnt out and I could not get another can that size for love nor money. Now, as you can see, this is where I'll be sitting and doing all my uh, cooking and things like that. But I'm looking around for firewood and it's all getting wet. So that's my next project, firewood. Right, I've got the fire lit. Um, I'm going to get some coals and get it a little bit loaded up with coal so I don't have to keep feeding it. So it's got something to you know, continually give it uh, a burn factor. Then I'm going to get a brew on. But yeah, light is going fast in here now.
Well, I'm really struggling for dry firewood, no matter what I try. Picking off uh, that is actually off the ground, everything that's uh, dead standing up. Um, it's just been so wet, everything is struggling. I've got a fire, but it's roaring up when it dries out, and then uh, when I reload it, it dies down. So, yeah, it's a bit of a constant battle here, really, but I'm going to get my brew on now. I've kind of got myself set up for the evening. Right, I finally got a uh, brew going there, and... Um, yeah, it's raining quite hard at times. It's just enough of an angle that on that actual um, tarp, if you can see, just enough of an angle for it to literally hit it and run straight off. There's nothing hanging about on it. But yeah, it's perfectly dry underneath here. So this was a good call. Yeah, that little hobo stove there is doing the trick uh, beautifully. Like I said, I couldn't get the big size uh, cans. Uh, I don't know if they're being discontinued, but I really struggled. So this was the next next best thing I could make, but it's, it's really doing the trick. It's stainless steel, so it should last a bit longer as well. Two in one coffee. I haven't gone for the real thing today. So it's just a uh, pot noodle for tea, something quick, uh, I threw it all together to come out and quite simply it was, this whole camp is just about coming here. It was um, put together due to all the conditions came and I couldn't afford to turn it down, particularly this late in the year. So yeah, I'm making it happen but it's just nice to be in this woodland because I was around about 11, 12 years old. 13, 14, 15, 16, you know, that kind of whole spectrum age uh, that I was in here doing this. And I'm 53 now. So it's kind of like quite surreal to think about it. If I could go back to that age when I was sort of like 13 and think that I'd be 53 and doing a wild camp here like I was back then. It would, it would be too much to even uh, contemplate at that age. But, um, yeah, so it's just nice to be in here. I can't tell you how it, it feels. It feels, out of all the wild camps I've done, it feels kind of a little bit strange and surreal. and It's not quite right because I can think of myself as that 12 or 13 year old, completely innocent to the world and everything that's gone on doing this and thinking this was it this was all there was in the world um at 53 you know we've all had life experiences and i'm sitting here just pondering and thinking how naive i was back then but how how beautiful that that was because that's how you should be as children and so many children don't have that luxury of being a kid and just doing this um they have to grow up fast but, you know, I'm not going to get too much into that type of thing. Um, so, yeah. Um, just a pot noodle. <laughs> not even any of one of my uh, macaroni cheeses or, or sausages or bacon. Just a pot noodle. Tea is served. Pot noodle and instant coffee. I'm really living it up tonight. Well, I'm eating my pot noodle. It's a feel good food. It warms you up. Um, it fills a hole and they're very tasty. Um, they do use quite a bit of water actually. So you have to bear that in mind. But yeah for a quick easy meal out here in the woods a pot noodles fantastic but it's not something you'd want to do all the time because it doesn't feel like camping but 
like I said tonight was just literally throw everything in a bag and get out the door there's a lot of movement out here and I can when I shine my torch out I've seen a couple eyes now and again I'm presuming those are the badgers that I've talked about in a previous video that lived here or lived in this wood or still live in this wood there's a lot of movement as well you can hear it I like I don't have the lights or the capacity to you know video it see it or anything like that but you just hear it it is nice it's nice to know there are still a lot of um, or there's still a lot of wildlife in here anyway I'm gonna finish this up and um, if I'm feeling up to it we might go for a little wander Right, let's say bye to camp for a moment. I've let that die down, the fire. Let's go for a little wander. We're coming down to the big old beech tree there. Coming around here. That's where we're sleeping tonight. Let's follow this track. I'm being very careful. I'm breaking uh, one of my golden rules, walking around the woods and forest. When you don't need to. <clears throat> this is how you get yourself hurt. I've left the lantern going, just helped to guide me back into camp. And when you're wandering around the woods, no matter how, how confident you are and how much you know that particular woodland, it all starts to look the same. In the distance I can hear people, when I was on the footpath I did see people with tents in a field. Not sure what that was all about, but I think they're drinking because I can hear them. They're a good half mile away, but the wind is blowing in this direction. And I think we're up here. That's a badger set there. We've come over to the badger set. Obviously they ain't going to stick around while I'm doing this. Alright, let's just head back. There you go. Full moon. Like I said, you know, you this is this is how you can get yourself hurt. Um, and I always say, once you get into your camp, you've made your location, you know, known, and you've got your tracks sorted, that's where you stay. Coming over here. These tracks are well worn. And here we are. Back at the uh, cabin. Big old beech tree that is, it's beautiful. Back to camp. And I think what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to start relocating into the cabin. Here we are. Actually, it's instantly warmer. Right, I've got to find somewhere I can hold, put this lantern safe. Right. So I've got that hung up safely there at the moment. I've double checked that and double checked, triple checked it. Obviously I'm not leaving it running while I'm sleeping. And I've got it at the back. Any accidents, it's not blocking the uh, doorway. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I'm being sensible here. But um, yeah, it looks like the, the, the one that I didn't look last time. Looks like there was a fireplace going up there and it went out over there but um, there's lots of wildlife in there already I can see tons of spiders but this hasn't got lot longer I don't think to exist because it looks like all the rafters are beginning to give way but yeah I'm going to bag this one unfortunately I'm not going to use uh, any of these chairs or any of that what I'm going to do is just get my uh, roll mat down there and get my bivvy it's warmer in here already than being outside there right I'm going to get some warm kit on temperature is dropping out there um, it has actually stopped raining and as the clouds have disappeared at the moment, temperature has noticeably dropped. It hasn't stopped the revelers. Uh, they're about five, five fields away, I'd say they're about half a mile. But they've got um, rave or new dance type music. So do, 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 do. And um, yeah, they're obviously drinking because you can you can tell just by the way they're shouting and screaming and uh you know, they're obviously having a good time. There's no reason to suspect they'd be in these woods because um, they're quite challenging to get in and out of at the best of times. And um, <laughs> being, being drunk and not prepared, they probably fall foul of the first barbed wire fence, <laughs> which might be amusing, but it might ruin their evening. But um, yeah, but it's always that feeling, isn't it? Like, you know, when you know people are drinking they're obviously having a good time. I'm not suggesting anything, but you just feel that little bit more on edge because when you're in the woods on your own, that's the way you like it to stay. So there's the door. I've got my bivvy there running across the floor. This floor isn't as even as I thought it was. I'm using my um, waterproof bag as a pillow. Got my sleeping bag there and underneath... I've got a doubled up roll mat. It's doubled up, so it gives me a bit of thickness. But yeah, this floor isn't going to be as comfortable as what I um, I imagined. But uh, I'm here and we're going to make this work. So I'm all set up, really. I did actually... Um, where is it to? I did actually... Um, bring a drink... But um, I'm not actually feeling it, to be honest with you. I want to keep sharp. You never know. Like I say, there are people drinking not too far away. So I'm going to stay a bit sharp tonight. So yeah, I've been thinking about coming here from the moment I found this. Um, was it a good idea? I'm not feeling it, to be absolutely honest with you. Um, I do prefer to be under my tarp, um, out in the open. This feels a little bit claustrophobic. It's not what I'm, you know, all about when I'm outdoors. Um, if I'd have built it myself and, you know, and... It, <laughs> 
everything was of my hand and and place and location of choosing i don't know just everything just it just feels a little bit wrong and off this does but um yeah like i keep saying i'm here now and <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna make it work so yeah let's settle down for this evening all right i've got my coffee going the one thing about a little bit more breeze passing through that um hobo stove is burning even the wet wood but um you can probably just make out the drips coming off it Well guys, it's just gone past five. I'm up and uh, I'm getting a coffee on. I had to go toilet and uh, I needed a coffee. Well, um, the wind's picked up slightly and we've got rain. I'm huddled under the tarp uh, next to the fire. I'm just waiting for a bit more light before I can start doing anything in here. Um, I didn't have the best sleep in uh, that roundhouse or witch's hut or a log cabin whatever you want to call it i could hear insects scurrying about and everything like that and um yeah it just didn't feel right in there so i'd rather have been out here under my tarp actually but um yeah so coffee and uh just sit here while well, i'm lying against my bergen actually and i'm just chilling out listening to the uh, rain it's quite soothing Well, we've got daylight in the woods now. No rain, and that wind has totally dropped off. Birds are singing. And I actually fell asleep out here by the fire. I'm just waiting for the last embers to burn out. Then I'm packing up. The tarp held up. I'll give that a shake in a moment. But it's looking like it's going to be a nice day. Right then. Was it worth actually doing a wild camp with this roundhouse, hut, witch's house, whatever, whatever you want to call it? Well, the fantasy was there, but as for a wild camp, was it worth it? Most definitely not. The thing is, it's kind of falling down because it's so dry and decayed in there. The air is full of dust, you're breathing it in. It's just it's just a horrible environment in there. Um, so I did enjoy coming back to this woodland to do a wild camp in this woodland. This drew me back to force me to come here because I quite simply wanted to see what it would be like. Um, but I've got closure on this woodland and it's a woodland that I've wild camped in and everything I've talked about from being a kid and I just wanted to come back and stay in it one last time I don't feel a need to come back to this woodland anymore um, this chapter's closed I suppose and coming back is definitely it definitely feels like I've done the right thing coming back staying overnight just having a few memories thinking about things and then just close closing the door on this chapter and move on to other pastures and um yeah i'm glad i done it but to get out of here it's going to be a bit of a nightmare i'm going to have to be pretty stealthy
Oh, and do you remember that noise or noises? If you can see, there's a load of tents there. Yeah, so there you go, you can clearly see it. That's where all the uh, drinking and fun and games was coming from. Around. Way down over there, about half a mile, that's where I was. Just goes to show, noise travels. Well guys, I'm nearly back to where I'm gonna get picked up, but um, that was a success for the simple fact I got to wild camp in an area you know from yesteryear for me as for the witch's house round house no I, I, I wish I'd camped under the actual tarp it was warm enough it was just really horrible in there but um, yeah um, I had to be stealthy coming out I didn't do a lot of uh, video in because it's not like it used to be when I was a kid here but in any case um, yeah I'm gonna call this a day so take care stay safe I hope to catch you guys out on the trail. Cheers.